This is Neil Pitori. This segment is on forward error correction. What we saw in the last video was that there is a big gap between the bandwidth efficiency of the modulations that we've covered so far and the Shannon bound on bandwidth efficiency. There's like 10 dB or more gap in terms of the EB over N naught or that you need in order to achieve a given bandwidth efficiency. And there's about a two to 10 times factor of difference between the bit rate that you can achieve or the bandwidth efficiency you can achieve for a given EB over N naught. So what communications engineers have done to bridge this gap is forward error correction coding. And it's called FEC for forward error correction or ECC for error correction coding. In either case, there are two main types of coding. One is called block coding. And we'll do an example of block coding. Um, and we'll talk about systematic linear block codes. These are somewhat simple and low complexity but don't achieve a lot of coding gain. But in the block coding family are the low density parity check codes or LDPC codes. And these are called capacity approaching because they can nearly approach the Shannon bound on bandwidth efficiency versus EB over N naught. They're used today in digital video broadcast in the US and Europe, and they are also used in the 802.11n standard, and uh, they're used in 5G. We'll cover a simple systematic linear block code with the idea that we can't cover all uh, of the best, most efficient coding methods that are available today. Another type of code is called a convolutional code. These codes, as the name implies, they're not operated on a block-by-block -block basis. They calculate a binary convolution of a code with the incoming data stream. So they're more efficient than block codes when you have a long stream of data. Convolutional codes are used in deep space communication. They're used in uh, satellite communication. And the disadvantage is that the complexity increases exponentially with the length of the code. And to improve the performance, you increase the code length, but then the complexity of decoding increases. Um, you may have heard of the Viterbi algorithm. The Viterbi algorithm is the optimal algorithm for decoding at the receiver. The biggest class of current used convolutional codes include these turbo codes which are also capacity approaching um, and they're used in 3G and 4G and deep space communication as I mentioned. So these turbo codes are able to achieve nearly the Shannon limit as well. So in the next segment I'll cover systematic linear block codes like I mentioned if you want an additional resource on this material, Jeffrey Frolic at the University of Vermont has a bunch of videos for his wireless sensor networks course. So there is a channel coding video that he created that is very much appropriate for us. It specifically talks about wireless sensor networks and coding for data coming from wireless sensor networks.